The Pittsburgh Protocol is an innovative therapy that has been developed at the University of Pittsburgh Medical Center. Traditional immunosuppression that has been used in both hand and face transplants around the world has relied on a combination of immunosuppressive agents, um, usually two or more drugs, for, taken for a lifetime. The, uh, the idea being that if you use these different drugs which act in different, you know, on different pathways of the immune system, you can reduce the individual uh, doses of each of these drugs. But in reality, patients end up taking high doses of these, of these drugs which can increase the risk of complications from diabetes, high blood pressure, um, high cholesterol, kidney failure, or even in rare cases, cancer. We at UPMC, um, uh, including others, uh, have felt strongly that uh, the risk-benefit balance um, in reconstructive procedures such as hand and, hand and face transplants is not worth it if um, using multiple immunosuppressive drugs. The Pittsburgh Protocol is an innovative therapy because it involves initial treatment of the patient with what are called an antibody treatment. Uh, this antibody treatment is done on the day of surgery. It removes the, those cells in the recipient body that attack the, the graft um, immediately after it is transplanted. A week after immunosuppressive uh, therapy is started, the patient receives a single time um, uh, infusion of bone marrow cells from the donor. The rationale being that the donor bone marrow cells contain what are called stem cells, which could potentially educate the recipient immune system in accepting into accepting the hand or face transplant as self, and the patients are then maintained with the single immunosuppressive drug. Studies have also shown that this drug, tacrolimus, improves the regrowth of nerves after transplantation in addition to preventing rejection. Thus, our protocol benefits not only survival of the transplant, but also return of function. Reconstructive transplants, such as hand and face transplants, are typically performed in young and healthy individuals. Um, given the fact that they're young and healthy, uh, requires us to re-examine the risk-benefit balance uh, offered by such transplants, which are usually non-life-saving, but only life-enhancing. The Pittsburgh Protocol reduces the need for multiple drugs with their associated complications to a single drug. Uh, we have achieved um, low doses of immunosuppression to date, and uh, we hope to eventually eliminate, reduce, if not eliminate, patients from immunosuppression. Mm -hmm.